are pop-ups bad for SEO? And what are Google's rules for displaying pop-up? We will go through which types of pop-ups would impact your SEO efforts negatively and which ones have the power to turn your visitors into customers without carrying any risk of being penalized by Google. Then you will learn how to use pop-ups on your website efficiently without harming your previous SEO operations. Various studies show that pop-ups are very effective in obtaining impressive conversion rates. As you already know, it is difficult to get the attention of a visitor when they reach your website. This is where the need for pop-ups with clear call to actions and a good design arises. Although pop-ups commanding the screen get higher engagement, they may detract from the overall user experience on a website and be perceived as aggravating. You need to be very careful about the display time and the way you show your pop-ups to website visitors. Since January 10, 2017, Google penalizes websites having intrusive interstitials. This basically means that if a pop-up or any secondary content on your website doesn't have any relation with your products, your brand, or something improving your customer experience, it will have a negative impact on your Google rankings. How pop-ups interact with SEO ranking factors? Pop-ups are on-site elements carrying different effects on user experience. Let's look at the different pop-up types and how they interact with SEO ranking factors. Overlay pop-ups. Overlay pop-ups are opened in the same browser window and layered on top of page content. If implemented correctly, these pop-ups are SEO friendly. Model pop-ups. They are very similar to overlay pop-ups. The difference is that models are used for required actions like notifications and login windows. Businesses prefer them a lot because these notifications or actions are vital to user experience. New window pop-ups are displayed outside the main website browser window. Google and other search engines don't like new window pop-ups, which are rarely used except by spammy websites. Interstitial pop-ups Interstitial pop-ups cover the page content and require a predetermined wait time before a visitor can reach the website content. You have probably not seen an interstitial pop-up on high-ranking websites because they decrease customer engagement, although expected to do otherwise. How to take advantage of pop-ups without affecting SEO unfavorably? 1. Avoid using pop-ups or interstitials that include much of the main content of your website. 2. Display sidebar, lightbox, full screen, and floating pop-ups that are attractive, prominent, and don't aggravate visitors. 3. Predetermine the timing of a pop-up display. Let your visitors go through the website's contents and even click on a website element before a pop-up appears. And that is basically it to have a converting and effective pop-up on your website. For the complete version of this article, you can visit Pop-Up Smart's blog and get even more tips and information on how to take advantage of pop-ups and how pop-ups affect SEO ranking and also Google's requirements for displaying pop-ups. Thank you for watching. See you on another video.